So all these effects are all professional effects with parameters for you to tweak to the point that you want. So if you don't like your effects, your reverb too bright, you can always tail it down. Uh, you can always do a high frequency damping on it. You can roll it off, or if you think it's not bright enough, you can push it up. Or if you think that the effects decay is not long enough, you can always extend it. If you think the effects is too blur, too much diffusion going on, you can lower your diffusion. So it's all up to you. You're given the liberty to do whatever you want and build whatever you want and make the presets that you want. So एक बार आपने कोई भी इफेक्ट uh, सिलेक्ट किया उसके सारे पैरामीटर को आप बदली कर सकते हैं उसको अगर आपको एक रोल ऑफ करना है या एच एफ को थोड़ा डैम्पिंग करना है थोड़ा अलग अलग डेप्थ देना है तो ये सब सारे पैरामीटर आप इसको बदली कर सकते हैं आपके प्रेफरेंस की तरह and to delay or whatsoever you can use up to four reverb if you need four reverb if you want four modulation effects very rare you can too to agar aapko jyada effects chahiye aapko agar char alag alag reverb chahiye to aap char reverb use kar sakte hain to jaise bhi aapko preference aapki acha lagta hai aap woh hisab se usko use kar sakte hain and obviously for those who doesn't like to be challenged to make their own presets we have made tons of um presets in there for you to use uh aur jisko apna khud ke preset banane nahi hai uske maki ke andar aapko bahut se alag alag presets milte hain jo aap khud use kar sakte hain default presets jo hai okay the next one will be devices all right i just want to cut in on that just to say that uh it's a really good option in maki because very few other apps give you that kind of control for the effects on the app itself most other brands you can only do that from the mixer aur apna mac ke mein sare effects ka jo parameters hai aapko app directly aapko change kar sakte hain thank you i'm glad you liked it <laughs> all right so the next one would be devices um like i said the app can be downloaded and be used in simulation or offline mode um anytime right so we have all the five device from the DL1608 to 806 to TL32R 16S and to TL32S um one app if you need to make a setting for a DL32S all you need to do turn on the app go to offline mixer select DL32S and select that and it will simulate get onto offline mode and from there you can plan and do all your routings and set up before you even connect with the device to jo hamara device menu hai usme aap alag alag device dekh sakte hai agar aapka koi actual hardware aapke pas nahi hai to aap usko offline mode pe bhi aap dekh sakte hai jahan ki jaise aap usko select karenge jo demo mode mein wo wo wohi mixer ka pura ek layout load kar lega ek dummy mixer jiske upar aap kaam kar sakte hai so in cases of like say if you have an entertainment venue that's got three shifts right and this three shifts does very different type of different type of setups different type of music different type of bands different band performing at those different hours and you got three different engineers this three different engineers can actually have their own ipads or their their own devices right S- do all your planning and 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 decide what you want for the band that's coming up right that you are in charge of and do it offline and when you get when you get to the venue get it up and you're ready to go or shall i say you are at least 80% before the show uh agar ek hi venue mein suppose teen alag alag band perform kar rahe hain तो जब बैंड परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं तीन अलग अलग इंजीनियर के पास तीन अलग अलग खुद का आईपैड है या कोई भी टैबलेट या पीसी है वो आने के पहले ऑफलाइन मोड में उसका लगभग पूरा सारा सेटअप इफेक्ट्स ईक्यू या सब कुछ ऑफलाइन मोड में लोड करके आने के बाद उसको उनको सिर्फ कनेक्ट करना है तो एटलीस्ट ऑलमोस्ट 
एटी परसेंट उनका काम आने के पहले ही खत्म हो जाता है okay. so, as you can see the next slide this slide has got one more layer it says detected mixer right this is what you see uh, when the network finds a present of a device hardware device uh jab aapka network mein aapka device actually connected hai to usme wo detected mixer mein dikhega aapko kaun sa mixer hai in each network you can have more than one device you can have one router to to as many devices as you want if you have a switcher so you can see a row rows of multiple device and you can select each and any one of the device to connect to aap one time alag alag devices ko ek hi network mein alag alag device connect kar sakte hai uh, ek router pe anginat uh, alag alag devices ko aap laga sakte hai और यहाँ डिटेक्टेड मिक्सर में आपको हर रो में आपको जो भी डिवाइस नेटवर्क पे वो दिखेंगे यहाँ पे सो इफ यूर रनिंग समथिंग लाइक इंस्टॉलेशन फॉर एंटरटेनमेंट वेन्यू एंड यू गॉट मल्टीपल रूम्स मल्टीपल मिक्सेस राइट एंड बट यू गॉट वन शेयर नेटवर्क राइट दैट्स फॉर फॉर मोर और फॉर होटल और यू नीड टू डू इज जस्ट हुक अप ऑल द मिक्सेस टू दैट पर्टिकुलर नेटवर्क right and to join that network and you just need one single ipad walk across all the different rooms and connect to each device when you're in the room right you do not need to keep switching a different ipads or sync different ipads one ipad or one computer to all the different mixes aapka alag jaise installation venue mein alag alag rooms hai alag alag rooms mein humne mixer lagaya hai wo sare mixer ko और जैसे कि अगर होटल है सारे मिक्सर को एक ही नेटवर्क पे आप लगा सकते हैं और एक ही आईपैड के साथ अलग अलग रूम में जाके कनेक्ट करके वो मिक्सर को देख सकते हैं आपको अलग अलग मिक्सर यूज करने की जरूरत नहीं है अलग अलग आईपैड या टैबलेट या फोन यूज करने की जरूरत नहीं है okay, so इसके पहले हमने देखा है कि सेटिंग है इसके बारे में हम ज्यादा कुछ अभी डिस्कस नहीं करेंगे अभी के लिए उसके बाद है एनीथिंग एल्स यू वांट टू टॉक अबाउट आई एम गोइंग टू स्किप दिस फॉर नाउ राइट द नेक्स्ट वन वुड बी एक्सेस लिमिट दिस इज वेयर यू लॉक पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द मिक्सर फ्रॉम योर वायरलेस डिवाइस जो आपका वायरलेस डिवाइस में आपको कुछ पैरामीटर लॉक करना है उसके आप एक्सेस को एनेबल या डिसेबल कर सकते हैं ओके नेक्स्ट विल बी योर हेल्प सो दिस कनेक्ट्स यू टू आवर सर्वर्स आवर इंटरनेट पेजेस आवर आवर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन स्टफ लाइक दैट आवर यूट्यूब पेजेस एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट इफ यू नीड एनी हेल्प जस्ट गो ऑनलाइन दिस वे यू फाइंड हेल्प और अगर आपको कुछ सहायता चाहिए या कुछ भी डॉक्यूमेंटेशन या कुछ चाहिए आप हेल्प सेक्शन में जाके उनके अलग अलग सपोर्ट पेजेस पे आप जा सकते हैं ऑन मोर यू विल फाइंड द वर्जन ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर मोर पे जाके आपको सॉफ्टवेयर का वर्जन दिखेगा राइट एंड सो यू विल फाइंड द कनेक्टेड डिवाइस व्हाट फर्मवेयर इज इट ऑन व्हाट मॉडल एंड एवरीथिंग इज ऑल हियर आपके डिवा जो हार्डवेयर है उसका फॉर्मवेयर सब कुछ आपको यहाँ पे दिखेगा okay, so that's your settings to choose. Next will be your I/O patch. This is the first tab of the sub, uh, of the eight, which is mic free. So ये आपका input output का patching का section है. जो पहला tab है उसका वो mic free है. Right here you do your mic gains and turn it, turn on and off your phantom power. यहाँ पे आप अलग अलग माइक गेन सेट कर सकते हो और आपका फैंटम पावर चालू या बंद कर सकते हैं नेक्स्ट वी आर ऑसोलेटर द ऑसोलेटर इज अ फ्री ऑसोलेटर सो बेसिकली यू कैन हैव एनी फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड व्हाट्सएवर टू बी सेंट टू एनीवे यू वांट इट तो यहां पे आपका ऑसोलेटर है आप कोई भी फ्रीक्वेंसी या कुछ भी टोन आप जनरेट करके कहीं भी ये भी आप राउट को राउट कर सकते हैं ओके यू हैव गॉट टू क्विक इनपुट्स इनपुट ए एंड इनपुट बी दिस टू इनपुट्स आर स्विचेबल यहां पे दो इनपुट्स है इनपुट ए और इनपुट बी इसको आप स्विच कर सकते हैं ओके 
next would be a USB. So this is for recording or playback from USB devices. ये आपका अगले इसके बाद आपका USB देखेगा यहाँ recording या playback के लिए USB devices से. Next would be output, um, the physical outputs on the DL mixer itself. This is the routing for it. और उसके बाद आप output देख सकते हैं इसका पूरा routing आप पूरे output की तरफ देख सकते हैं. Okay, next would be your Dante, where you want the Dante to be sent to, sent from, and everything else. उसके बाद आपका डांटे का राउटिंग है जहाँ से आप भेजना चाहते हैं और जहाँ पे भेजना भेजना है उसके पूरे राउटिंग को आप देख सकते हैं। The Dante function is only found on DL32R. डांटे का फंक्शन सिर्फ DL32R पे है क्योंकि इसपे ही आप डांटे का कार्ड लगा सकते हैं। Next would be your talkback. So basically, where you want to send your talkback to, which mix you want to send your talkback to. तो आप लास्ट में आप टॉकबैक को कौन से मिक्स पे आपको देना है आप टॉकबैक पे आपको उसको असाइन कर सकते हैं। ओके, ऑन द DL 1608 एंड 806 ऑब्वियसली यू डू नॉट हैव दैट मेनी चॉइसेस व्हेन कम्स टू राउटिंग, बट यू कैन रिकॉर्ड एनी आउटपुट टू द आईपैड इटसेल्फ। डीएल जो छोटे मिक्सर है 806 और 1608 � ऑप्शन थोड़े कम हैं, बट आप उसको रिकॉर्डिंग के लिए आप अपने आईपैड पे डायरेक्ट रिकॉर्ड कर सकते हैं। सो लेट्स से यू हैव अ बैंड प्लेइंग एंड समबडी गिविंग अ स्पीच एंड ऑल यू नीड टू रिकॉर्ड इस द स्पीच, बट यू डू नॉट हैव सेपरेट मिक्स, सो हाउ डू यू डू दैट? द टू आर गोइंग ऑन एट द सेम टाइम all right so all you need to do is instead of sending a mix or whatsoever you can directly record whatever is coming in from the mic pre itself route that to the ipad and you can do that too so if you have an event where you have a band perform or a speech you have to record a speech so you have to record the microphone input to your ipad and record it so you can take that recording and manipulate it later and give it back to the client. उसके बाद आप वो recording लेके उसको बदल के client को वापस दे सकते हैं। Okay, next would be recording and playback. This is probably very familiar with everyone. It's just like a your Windows media player. So one thing I would like to highlight the DL. 32R does multi-track recording. This is only available for the DL32R. So, after that, the recording tab is quite straightforward. Like the old cassette player or Windows, you have a recording. It's the same recording. Multi-track recording is only on the DL32R. Okay, quick access panel. So, this one allows you to do your muting of the effects quickly and clear your solo quickly. Uh, below that, you will have a monitor level, right? So you can have a wet monitor or you can have uh, IEMs where you want to control your levels. You can change your levels up um, and talk back level, talk back buttons. Uh, last minute, jo unka quick access section hai, wahan pe aapko, uh, alag -alag mute ke controls milenge, ya aapke solo ko clear karne ko milega. मॉनिटर का लेवल आप देख सकते हैं या टॉकबैक का लेवल आप सेट कर सकते हैं। ओके एंड नेक्स्ट वन विल बी शो, राइट? शो इस वेर यू कीप ऑल योर स्नैपशॉट्स, यू टेक मॉडिफाई ऑल योर स्नैपशॉट्स, यू टेक ऑल योर स्नैपशॉट्स। शो के सेक्शन में आप अपने मॉडिफाई और आपके स्नैपशॉट्स को लेके यहाँ � current show which is the show that's running now and offline shows for shows that are not running two tabs are one is the current show which is running here the other is the offline show which is not running okay we'll dive into all this later okay so that's offline shows okay so mix view it's where you find all your different mixes mix view you will get to see mix view Okay, so you can see all the different mixes that you have on the DL32R. One left, right, 14 oxes, your effect sends, your subgroups, your VCAs, your matrix. Let's say I want to select uh, oxix. All I need to do is go to the oxix tab, and I am on the oxix mix now. 
तो आपके जो भी आपको अलग अलग तरीके के मिक्स सेटिंग्स आपको चाहिए है उसको आप सिलेक्ट कर सकते हैं यहाँ पे जैसे कि अगर उन जैसे मैं अभी सिर्फ उनको ऑक्सिक्स का उनको टैप चाहिए तो उन्होंने ऑक्सिक्स सिलेक्ट करके उनके पूरे ऑक्सिक्स के कंट्रोल मिले हैं उनको so you can see the master fader now is, has switched over from left right to aux6 to jo unka main hai wo left right ke badal mein ba ke badle mein aux6 aa gaya hai yahan pe to go back all i need to do is tap on the main section and you go back to left right uh wapas jaane ke liye uh unko sirf main section pe click karke left right ki taraf jana hai okay so next will be your view groups आपको सारे चैनल नहीं देखने हैं सिर्फ कुछ चैनल देखने हैं आप छे व्यू ग्रुप आप सेट कर सकते हैं राइट सो नाउ आई सेलेक्टेड चैनल वन टू थर्टीन फोर्टीन नाम भी रख सकते हैं आप देख सकते हैं जो व्यू ग्रुप ए में जो चैनल है वो आपके स्क्रीन पे आ गए So this allows you to quickly maneuver to the mix that you want to. Uh isse aap koi bhi alag alag mix pe ekdam uh uh jaldi ja sakte hain. Right. So that's the view group. Okay, let's go back to everything. Now let's talk about the mute groups. Right? The mute groups of it's very similar with the view groups. Think of it um instead of viewing, this one is for muting. तो म्यूट uh, ग्रुप्स में uh, अलग जैसे व्यू में हम uh, अलग अलग चैनल्स को देख रहे हैं म्यूट ग्रुप्स में हम uh, वो ग्रुप को म्यूट कर सकते हैं सो लेट्स से यू गॉट मे बी द ड्रम्स यू वांट टू म्यूट एवरी सिंगल वन ऑफ देम दैट कुड बी मे बी इन माइक्रोफोन्स और मोर यू कैन असाइन इट तो जैसे कि आप ड्रम सेट में अगर ऑलमोस्ट छः सात माइक्रोफोन या नौ माइक्रोफोन एक साथ लग रहे हैं और उनको एक साथ आपको म्यूट करना है तो आप उसको असाइन कर सकते हैं So in this instance I'm just going to do a couple of the odd channels on 3 and 5. Yahan pe unhone ek hot channel jo 1 3 aur 5 aur 7 use hai wo ek sath assign kiya hai. So this four channels whenever I hit mute one you're going to see the four channels being muted. So jab bhi unhone ye mute one select kiya hai ye char channel mute ho jayenge. Right? So it's really simple very quick. Okay, so in the next one will be your masters which is all your output faders. Uh uske baad hai master jo ki aapke sare output ke faders hai. So you can actually have an iPad of such give it to the boss and he takes care of the faders of to all the different rooms whatsoever. That's one way of doing it. So ye aap apne boss ko deke uh wo alag alag rooms ka output yahan se aap set kar sakte hain. Okay so I was just kidding down there um so you here see all your aux you see your effects you see your subgroups and you see your vcas and your matrix to aap dekh sakte hai ye alag alag hai aapke aux hai effects hai subgroups hai vca hai aur aapke matrix hai all right so hang on a second all right so now is it's all the individual your left right your aux the effects send subgroups the six pcas and the six matrix to jaise ki jaise ne dikhaya ya aap ek sath sab ko dekh sakte hai ya left right ko dekh sakte hai ya uske baad aapke sirf aux channel ko dekhna hai wo dekh sakte hai effects ko dekhna hai sirf effects ko dekh sakte hai subgroup hai ek group mein आपके वीसी है एक ग्रुप में और आपके मैट्रिक्स है छह मैट्रिक्स एक ग्रुप में ओके वन लास्ट वन बिफोर वी स्विच ओवर टू द मिक्सर मल्टी सेलेक्ट मल्टी सेलेक्ट दिस टैब अलाउस यू टू मिक्स एंड मैच एनीवन इन दिस ग्रुप राइट सो लेट्स से आई वांट टू हैव 
VCAs and matrix on my view. All right, all I need to do is hit multi-select, select matrix, select VCA. I can see both at the same time. Multi-select में आप कुछ group को combine करके एक साथ देखना है. तो जैसे कि अगर आपको matrix और VCA एक साथ देखना है, तो आप multi-select select करके उनको एक साथ select use कर सकते हैं. Okay, cool. All right, from here onwards, I'm gonna switch over to the app. While I switch over to the app, uh, I'll let Louis talk a little, maybe introduce himself in the, in the Colombian way. Jason, I'm switch kare, tab tak Louis apnae could Lua Jason, Mackie DL32 arco connect karenge, tab tak Louis coach bolna chate. Well, the only thing I can say is that it's five in the morning in the US, <laughs> so I'm still in the process of waking up. <laughs> I hope I am uh, excitable enough to keep you awake <laughs> through this treacherous time of the the, the day. <laughs> oh no! Abhi subah ke five baje hai, to abhi utke inko ye presentation attend karna tha, to iske liye ye major aaye. Okay, so um, this is the. Can everybody see the uh, master fader now? Yes. Okay, great. So we are live with a master fader, all right? So this is not a presentation anymore. We're on the mixer itself. Abhi ye presentation nahi hai. Ham mixer pe actually kaam kar rahe hai. Okay, so first thing before I start, um, I'm going to go to the device. As you can see, uh, I've got, uh, I'm offline now on the DL806. ये आप देख सकते हैं डिवाइस में ऊपर के डिवाइस या ऑफलाइन और डिटेक्टेड मिक्सर में एक डीएल थर्टी टू आर है। So if you were to look at this, you can see eight channels, you can see two effects, four subgroups and four VCAs. तो आप देख सकते हैं इसपे आठ चैनल हैं, आपके सबग्रुप्स हैं, इफेक्ट्स हैं, VCA ग्रुप्स हैं। Right. Next, I'm going to switch over to the 1608. So, if you can see the demo version, you can show the 1608. Okay, so now I'm on the 1608. As you can see, it's 16 channels now. All right. Um, same two effects, four subgroups and four VCIs. So, in the 1608, there are 16 channels, two effects. How many subgroups are there? Four subgroups and four VCIs. चार सबग्रुप और चार बीसीए हैं। Right. Next I would be obviously on the DL sixteen S, right? उसके बाद हम DL sixteen S को देखेंगे क्योंकि thirty two R पे हम live करेंगे। Second, let me quit the keynote to get more processing power. Okay, so on the sixteen S now you see a slight difference. We've got an I/O patch down here now. In 16S, you can see that you have an input-output patch down below. Okay, so obviously we have 16 outputs. We suddenly have 4 effects instead of 2. Here, there are 4 effects engine engine. We've got 6 subgroups now. We've got 6 VCAs. 6 subgroups and 6 VCAs. Right. And DL32S. Okay. So 32 inputs, um, four effects, um, six subgroups, six VCAs. But these input, uh, char effect engine, uh, che subgroup or che VCA. And obviously, um, GL32R, right? So it's just one app that allows you to work um, very seamlessly for all the, four uh, the five different devices. ये एक ही ऐप है अभी हमने DL thirty two R को कनेक्ट किया है ये एक ही ऐप में आप सारे प्रोडक्ट्स को एक कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं। Okay, sorry, there was one question as to what are the main feature differences between the thirty two R and the thirty two S. Okay, we'll get on that in two minutes. Sure. Alright, so we're now gonna connect to DL thirty two R. Okay, so I once I connect it. You would see, hang on a minute. It will ask where I want to syn synchronize the show from, all right, which I had. 
uh, instead of a green icon of the mixer, I now see a green radar. Yeah. Okay, so that tells me that I'm connected. So, where you see the green icon, you can see the green radar. It means that your device is connected. Right. So, now I'm connected to a DL32R. Okay, the difference between a DL32R and a DL32S uh, first would be um, outputs, right? Um, physical outputs, if you were to look at the two different the two devices, I'm going to switch over now back to DLT2S. Um, I've got 10 down here, right? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to switch over to a DLT2R. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look at the outputs. I've got 14 down here. So I've got extra two outputs. Um, the mic pre is different too. Uh, no, so the mic pre's are the same. There are 32 um, Onyx Plus mic pre's. Um, the other thing that's different is USB recording, direct to hard drive, which is not available on the S. And Dante implementation is not available on the DL32S. Jo, Jason, I'm the main difference is that the output is different in DL32S. Thus, output is AUX. और uh, 32 आर में 14 आउटपुट है साथ ही साथ जो रिकॉर्डिंग में मल्टी ट्रैक रिकॉर्डिंग और हार्ड डिस्क में आप लगाने के आप सिर्फ 32 आर में कर सकते हैं जो कि uh, 32 एस में नहीं है और uh, uh, जो उनका डांटे कंपैटिबिलिटी uh, है वो सिर्फ 32 आर में आता है 32 एस में नहीं आता है and all that's hardware differences on software yeah. differences on software front um, it would be um, Matrix. There is no matrix for um, the DL32S. Uh, or matrix be DL32S may matrix ka option. Nahi hai. Yeah. Um, I think obviously um, the able the ability of being able to work with the DC16 control surface. Uh, only the DL32R can be tied up with the DC16. जो DC16 का कंट्रोल सर्विस है आ, उसके साथ आप सिर्फ DL32 आर लगा सकते हैं Is that good? Yeah, it's all good. Cool. All right. So before um, I go on, uh, I want to highlight something. I'm not going to be able to show you panning, all right? Because uh, Zoom somehow uh, sums my two input to become mono, so I can't I can't pan Whenever I pan something, you're just going to hear level dropping. Uh, Jason, I want to ask you, the DL32S can do multi-track recording, right? Yes, you can direct to a computer. Or direct to a computer, but you can't do direct to a hard drive. No, you can't. Okay. So, uh, DL32S may have multi-track recording, kar sakte hai, but uh, if you direct to a computer, you can't do a hard drive. Pe तो जैसे ने कहा कि जूम का जूम के ऑडियो डिलीवरी के कॉन्फ़िगरेशन में ये सारा ऑडियो को सम करके एक मोनो स्ट्रीम देता है इसकी वजह से आप वो जब पैन करेंगे तो आपको सिर्फ लेवल में फर्क नजर आएगा आपको एक्चुअल पैनिंग समझ में नहीं आएगा क्योंकि जूम का ट्रांसमिशन मोनो है सो इफ यू टू सी मी पैनिंग लाइक दिस एंड लाइक दिस यू कैन हियर द लेवल्स दिस ड्रॉपिंग अगर आप सिर्फ पैन करेंगे लेफ्ट राइट तो सिर्फ लेवल ड्रॉप होगा ओके um obviously before i i talk about mixes and the settings and stuff like that um warning okay um every time when you do a mic pre setup or levels always bring your headphone levels to as low as possible the last thing you want to do is hurt your own ear all right तो जब भी आप हेडफोन्स करेंगे लेवल को ध्यान रखते हुए कम करना क्योंकि अगर जोर से कुछ आवाज आया आपके कानों को डैमेज होगा। All you need to do is look at the meter and hear the sound faintly. At usually it's good. Yeah. Okay. So now um, I'm going to talk about the meters. All right. So 
on the mixer itself, um, you're gonna see um, thumbnails. Now I'm on, I'm on um, the mix view, right? So these are thumbnails. Just wanna let you hear, uh, understand what I'm talking about when I say thumbnails. Every single small, tiny little portion of this, I consider them as thumbnails. ये जो छोटा आप देख सकते देख सकते हैं जो मैंने यहाँ पे इधर एक चैनल पे येलो में मार्क किया है वो सारे आपके थंबनेल्स हैं ओके व्हेनेवर यू सी मी टचिंग अ कंट्रोल ओके मूविंग कंट्रोल व्हाटसेवर यू गोना सी एन इंडिकेशन यू गोना सी द बटन्स ग्लोइंग दैट इंडिकेट्स आई एम टचिंग दैट बटन एंड आई एम कंट्रोलिंग दैट लेवल्स जब भी आप स्क्रीन पे कुछ ग्लो देखते हैं मतलब ये इनको ये बटन को या इसको कंट्रोल कर रहे हैं वेरी वे टू फॉलो मी ओके तो जब भी आप देख सकते हैं पैन के बटन को अगर वो लगा रहे हैं तो ग्लो होगा अगर ये फीडर के बटन को लगा रहे हो ग्लो होगा तो बहुत आसान होगा आपको फॉलो करने के लिए वो क्या मॉडिफाई कर रहे हैं ओके सो लेट्स फ्लाई नाउ ओके सो ऑन दिस इज द चैनल स्ट्रिप अम ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट दिस वन वुड बी योर इनपुट राउटिंग अम थंबनेल जो चैनल स्ट्रिप के ऊपर आप देख सकते हैं ये आपका इनपुट राउटिंग का थंबनेल है यू कैन सी अ स्लाइट डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू चैनल्स Okay, on my mic free channel, you can see a forty-eight volt here, meaning that forty-eight uh, volt is turned on on this channel. The gain is pushed up, whereas this one is down and forty-eight volt is off. Um, this one is on B routing. This one's on A routing. The trim is um, where it's supposed to be at zero. The two. Okay, I'll pass that to you, Karen. Ah, uh, you can see both of them are different. Uh, जो माइक इनपुट है वहाँ पे एक 48 वोल्ट का फैंटम पावर चालू है uh, उसका uh, uh, जो लेवल है द रेड वन इज द लेवल राइट जब दिस इज द लेवल राइट सो दिस इज टर्न ऑन दिस इज टर्न ऑफ दिस इज टर्न ऑफ दिस इज टर्न ऑन राइट तो ये माइक uh, uh, का वो चालू है और जो राउटिंग है uh, उन्होंने ए uh, uh, जो चैनल 29 है वो ए पे राउटिंग किया गया है और माइक जो है वो बी पे राउटिंग किया गया है यप सो ऑन वी स्पोक अबाउट यू बीइंग एबल टू क्विकली स्विच बिटवीन राउटिंग्स और यू कैन प्री प्लान राउटिंग्स एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट व्हिच वी विल डाइव इन लेटर नेक्स्ट वुड बी योर ईक्यू थंबनेल्स उसके बाद हमारा ईक्यू का थंबनेल है राइट द ईक्यू थंबनेल्स आर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग um it shows you the eq settings and stuff like that from here i can see that the eq is turned on because there's a white line over it to yahan pe aap dekh sakte hai ki ye jo thumbnail hai wo eq settings ka hai aapke channel ka uh, eq setting yahan pe cha ma, chalu hai kyunki aap dekh sakte hai white line dikh raha hai aap uske upar okay i'm going to use channel 29 to show you uh, how it is being affected i don't want to affect my own microphones so i'm going to click on the eq section तो जो चैनल ट्वेंटी नाइन पे करेंगे क्योंकि उनको अपने माइक पे नहीं करना है। Look at the thumbnail now. The thumbnail is on the far left of the screen. तो आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ पे थंबनेल एकदम लेफ्ट साइड में है। मैं इसको अगर बहुत जल्द मार्क करूँ तो यहाँ पे थंबनेल यहाँ लेफ्ट साइड पे आ गया। Thank you, Karen. That looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, so now I, I'm going to turn off the EQ. You're going to see the white line disappear. तो अब EQ बंद करेंगे आप देखेंगे व्हाइट लाइन पूरा चले गया अगर आपने EQ बंद किया तो राइट सो दैट्स एन इंडिकेशन व्हेदर द EQ इज टर्न ऑन एंड ऑफ फ्रॉम फार यू कैन टेल दैट व्हाट स्टेट इज ऑन तो अब दूर से बता सकते हैं कि ये EQ चालू है या बंद है राइट द नेक्स्ट वन वुड बी योर हाई पास फिल्टर राइट उसके बाद है हमारा हाई पास फिल्टर सो इफ आई वांट टू पुश द हाई पास फिल्टर टू मे बी चूज अ फ्रीक्वेंसी Karen uh maybe 100 hertz or 150 100 hertz it will be all right so now it's on the 100 hertz high pass which is 
great for microphones. It prevents all your popping and everything. Um, you can see that it's turned on, and now you can see it's a high pass going on with the EQ instead of just a straight black uh, white line. You can see that after the high pass set, we have it on 100 hertz, so the level of the level is attenuated on 100 hertz, and you will get a signal level on the top. So if I were to turn off the high pass now, look at what happened to the slope on the thumbnail. So if they have closed it, you can see that the thumbnail on the thumbnail on the slope is what happened on the thumbnail on the thumbnail. You still see that there's a high pass frequency selected, but you know that the high pass is not turned on. आप देख सकते हैं कि हाई पास सिलेक्टेड पर हाई पास चालू नहीं है। Can you just switch it on again to just show what happens exactly? Here you go. Yeah. अगर एक्चुअली चालू है तो आप देख सकते हैं कलर में क्या फर्क है। Right. So from far you can tell whether the EQ is on or off, right? Whether the high pass on, whether the EQ is on, right? So now I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna manipulate the EQ, right? I'm gonna go channel two. I mean about frequency two and Frequency three, you see that it's gonna be um, shown on the thumbnail too. So, जो भी आप EQ add करेंगे आपके thumbnail पे भी दिखेगा आपको directly. Right. I'm gonna make um, band two narrower. Let's see. It's reflected in real time. तो जैसे आप उसको EQ को चौड़ा या एकदम narrow करेंगे वो आपको image in real time में दिखेगा. Okay, cool. Thumbnail baby. So now I'm just gonna reset the EQ, right? So I've just reset it, turn off the high pass. And so from there, you can tell if there's any EQ that's being turned on on all the channels. If I were to scroll quickly, I can see all the EQs are all turned on, but none of them are active. You can see that if you scroll, all the EQs are active, but no one uh, we don't have any settings, so no one is active. Right, so um, a lot of people were worried at first, like, oh, how, how do you see the EQs and stuff like that? It's very clear. It's very easy to see whether, what state the EQ is on. A lot of people are worried that we have used the EQ, so you can see it on the thumbnail, so you can see what the EQ we have used. Okay. Now, right below the EQ thumbnail, it's the dynamic uh, thumbnails. Uh, EQ thumbnail ke niche, hamara ye dynamic thumbnail hai yaan uske niche. Sorry. Okay, the dynamic thumbnails down, down here. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Just I done wrong. <laughs> nice one. Okay, the, uh, the dynamic thumbnail shows um, any um, audio signal reduction. It's going on. Dynamic thumbnail पे आपका अगर audio signal का कुछ reduction हो रहा है वहाँ पे आपको दिखेगा. So on the first red line is my gate. जो आपका पहला line है वो आपका gate है. Every time I speak, the gate will open. When I stop speaking, the gate will close. जब भी वो बात कर रहे हैं तो gate खुलेगा. जब भी बात नहीं कर रहे हैं gate बंद होगा. So every time I speak, um, you would you will see the bottom one going, uh, moving around. That is our compressor. Um, so you can see me, my voice is being compressed, and it makes me sounding a bit better than I am, actually. Yes. <laughs> so आ उसके नीचे जो है gate के नीचे आपका compressor है आप देख सकते हैं जब जेसन बात कर रहा था तो नीचे वाला इधर यहाँ compressor थोड़ा हल्का सा चल रहा था. ये उसके आवाज को थोड़ा एक और बेहतरीन बनाता है। So I'm gonna do some compression on my voice. All I need to do is just hit this button, right? And I am already on my gate and compressor menu. जब भी उसके ऊपर सिलेक्ट करेंगे तो वो खोलके आपका गेट और कंप्रेसर दिखाएगा आपको। Right, so it's very quick and fast. All you need to do whenever you want to go to an EQ, I just need to tap on the thumbnail. I want to go to an EQ of channel 28. I go to 28, tap on the thumbnail, 
I'm on channel 28 EQ. If I want to go to channel 29 um, compressors and gate, all I need to do is tap, tap on the thumbnail of channel 29, right? So that's quick navigation. So whenever you want to go to any of the channel, you will select the thumbnail of the channel. So you will open the menu and you will give all the features to the channel. You don't need to go on a different page or a different layer just to get to the EQ. You don't have to go to a different page or a different layer, just to go to the EQ. The next one would be your pen. Would be the pen. Under it, you have the pen control. So I do not need to talk about panning. Okay. Um, as we all know, all these channels are in individual mono channels. They can be paired into stereo channels. Yes, sir. Individual mono channel na isko patch karke stereo channel bhi bana sakte hai. Right. So if I go there, link. Right. So you see channel twenty seven and channel twenty eight being linked. Yes. All right. From the mono channel, suddenly I see now two faders, I mean two views on one single fader. So you can see that the first single channel was 27 and 28, which has been linked and now you have two VU meters. You have patched the two meters and made the input to patch the stereo. Alright, so all mono channels can be paired with the next channel to become a stereo pair. Sir, mono channel and the other channel can be paired with the stereo channel. Okay. Mute, whenever it's red, it's mute. Whenever it's grey, it's unmute. Whenever it's grey or unmute, if it's red, it means mute. Right. We spoke about the faders before. When it glows, it moves. It's the one that's being controlled. Okay. This fader has got a travel of uh, you can, can see uh, minus 120 all the way to plus 10 dB. So it's all together 130 dB of uh, 130 dB, 130 dB of travel. Now you can see minus 120 dB from minus plus 10 dB to almost 130 dB of travel of fader. Ka. Okay, so it can be very fine if you want to. Um, let's say if I want to get to minus 7.5, right? I can do that really, really um, finely, right? Instead of just controlling the fader, there's another way of inputting values to the faders. Uh, yeah, you want to show that or you want to yeah, talk I'm going to show that uh, to, to them after you explain. So, the fader can go up and down very accurately on the level. If you leave the level, if you want to enter a direct level, you can also do that. As you can see, whenever I touch something, this screen shows the value of the parameters that I'm on. So, I can actually double tap this and go 7.5 and it hits to 7.5. So you can see that whenever Jason is controlling a fader, whatever level is on your display parameter. So whenever you click on the fader, you can select the fader and the fader can be double clicked and you can enter the level on the fader. Okay, so the fader can be minus 50 and the fader can be minus 50 and the fader can be minus 50 and the fader can be minus 50. I can do that too. Right, so you can be very, very precise with this uh, app if you want to. So, this is a very accurate way to set any level you want to set, select it and you can directly enter it. This way of editing is not just for faders, it's for every single parameter on the mixer itself. So, we can get down to whatever you want to do uh, to be super refined. So this is not only for the level, you can enter all the parameters manually. So you can enter a very accurate entry. Alright, great. So I'm going to show you more later. Don't worry about it. As you can see, I just clicked on the pen. It shows me I'm on center. If I want to move to the left, it's 100 right. 100 left, right. Double click it, 
center. It shows the value of whatever parameters you are on. Okay. Okay. So next one would be. Um, next one would be mute. All right. Um, I would like to talk about solo. Sorry, solo. I've got um, two modes. All right. Solo. I've got uh, PFL and AFL. So, the solo mode is. You have two modes. Uh, PFL or AFL. PFL, as you all know, is pre-fader level. Hai. Yep. So that is selected under two. So you can see that pre-fader level is selected. Hai. All right. So at this point, it's set to auto. Yeah, you have set auto. Okay. So um, let's move on uh, a bit. Okay. Um, have you noticed the numbers on the side of the view meter? view meter side number this um, indicates which subgroups it's on which view groups it's on which mute group it's on yahan pe aap dekh sakte hai ki kaun sa subgroup chalu hai kaun sa mute group chalu hai kaun sa view group chalu hai which is the last one uh, view groups mute groups and subgroups to aapka view group mute group aur subgroup yahan pe aapko sare left mein aapko dikhenge okay just have a look i'm going to quickly um, assign subgroup 1 mute group 1 view group 1 all right to aap dekh sakte hain humne isko assign kiya subgroup 1 mute group 1 aur view group 1 sorry uh, vca mute groups not view groups vca um, subgroups and mute groups yahan pe look at here subgroup vca aur mute group dikh rahe hain when i hit subgroup you're going to see uh, a blue light here Blue LED. देख सकते हैं जै, जैसे हमने सब ग्रुप सिलेक्ट किया यहाँ पे ब्लू लाइट दिख रहा है आपको. VCA. All right. And then the next one will be mute groups. This indicates uh, which group it's on uh, for subs and VCA information. तो यहाँ पे आपको सारा डिटेल आपको नजर आएगा कि कौन सा आपने सब ग्रुप सिलेक्ट किया है. Uh, all right. Sorry. Okay, I can switch it over. Hang on a second. Okay. So, यहाँ पे आपको दिखेगा कि आपने कौन सा subgroup select किया है, कौन सा VCA select किया है, यहाँ पे आपको नजर आएगा, और कौन सा आपका mute group है, वो आपको यहाँ पे select किया। अगर आपने चालू किया, तो अपने आप यहाँ glow होगा, और बंद किया, तो वो disable हो जाएगा। So, if I were to switch it to a different view group, uh, mute group, as you can, you can see it's the indicator has changed to a different number. So, we group change here, so the indicator has uh, number change. Ho gaya. All right. So, this is one way of you assigning your routings, uh, your, your, your output sections, and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, you can assign output sections. Assign kar sakte hai. Okay. So, that's one way of doing it, but there's more one than this way of doing it. Okay. Before I go there, um, Next one would be your channel strip. At the bottom, you see the name, right? So this tells you which channel you are on. This is channel 29. This is channel 30. This can be changed to a name of uh, whatever you want it to be. So here we can see our channel number here. And here we have written here, channel 29. You can change the name and whatever you want, you can put the name of the channel. If I click on the number itself, a news menu will appear. So, if we have selected it, a different menu will open. So, it allows me to put in the name of anything that I wish it to be. So, if you want to put the name of the name, you can put the name there. Right. I'm going to call this cat just because I like cats. Right. So, I've got cats on there now. So, I've put the name of Billy here. Okay. Or I can change it back to default name by clicking here. Yeah, the default name select करके एकदम select करके आपने आप channel पर नहीं आए वापस आ जाएगा. Instead of just names on top of names, let's put a guitar on this. 
on top of just having names I can put image right when I click on image uh, screen will another menu will appear 